Thank you, Ms. Hogsett. I now recognize Mr. Edwards for five minutes to summarize his opening statement. Chairman Garbrino, Ranking Member Swalwell, and members of the committee, thank you for your opportunity to testify before you today on CISA and the state of American cybersecurity. I am Marty Edwards, Deputy Chief Technology Officer for Operational Technology at Tenable, the leading cybersecurity exposure management company with 43,000 customers worldwide, including just about every federal department and many critical infrastructure providers. From Russia's invasion of Ukraine to the Colonial Pipeline incident, we're operating in a heightened threat landscape. CISA, the National Coordinator for Cyber Critical Infrastructure Security and Resiliency, and Congress have recognized the need to prioritize critical infrastructure security. Under Director Jen Easterly's leadership, CISA has taken significant steps to strengthen the U.S. cyber posture, including through prioritizing public-private partnerships, enhancing strategic collaboration, and developing new cybersecurity initiatives in favor of greater security and resiliency, which were emphasized in the recent national cybersecurity strategy. This includes addressing the security of IT and OT system convergence. Operational technology, or OT, is the hardware used in manufacturing, utilities, and critical infrastructure industries. But while today's technology are implemented to improve efficiencies, the convergence of these technologies between IT and OT makes OT susceptible to many new threat vectors. Successful OT attacks can impact human safety and damage physical equipment, making this a national security imperative. Public-private co sector collaboration, including CIS's Joint Cyber Defense Collaborative, of which Tenable is a proud alliance partner, is essential to building resilient and robust converged ITOT environments and enabling collaboration on a range of issues. To combat the growing cyber threats, the White House tasked the President's National Security Telecommunications Advisory Committee with examining key challenges to securing converged ITOT systems. I co-led this convergence subcommittee working group to produce a report to the President, which found that despite having the technology and the expertise to secure these systems, organizations still lack visibility into their OT environments. To strengthen the cybersecurity posture of the US government owned and operated OT systems with relatively low risk, the NSTAC report recommends three key steps for the US government, including, number one, issue a binding operational directive that requires federal agencies to maintain a real-time continuous inventory of all OT systems and assets, including any interconnectivity to other systems. Two, develop guidance on procurement language for OT products and services to incentivize and prioritize cybersecurity capabilities. Existing and future technology products and services should be secure by design, especially those that support critical infrastructure. And third, prioritize the development and implementation of interoperable, technology-neutral, vendor agnostic information sharing mechanisms to enable real-time information sharing between the U.S. critical infrastructure stakeholders. We should not allow for learned helplessness by federal government agencies or by private industry. There is too much at stake for organizations to remain negligent and not take the most basic steps to improve their cybersecurity posture. From Tenable's perspective, Congress has the opportunity to enhance U.S. preparedness by establishing baseline cybersecurity standards of care and ensuring that CISA is adequately resourced to support its critical mission. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have the rest of my page here. Hold on. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Many critical operating environments lack a formal systemic approach to risk assessments let alone the continuous visibility required for critical services and high value targets. In these instances, policy guidance can help drive improved risk management practices and foster innovation. Thank you again, Chairman Garbrino, Ranking Member Swalwell, and members of the subcommittee for your attention to these important bipartisan issues. Your continued assessment of the work CISA is doing to help keep Americans safe and for the opportunity to testify here today. I look forward to working with you to secure our nation's cyber assets and answer your questions.